Yo, you had a beat and block. Sub, they, oh, he gonna hate on me right there. If this band wasn't there, I was gonna show you how to bend, bend the block. You did. Damn. What's up, baby? What's up, baby? Take me to dinner, baby. I know what's up. So look, let me tell you something though, for real, for real. I want y'all to really notice, and I mean this in a sincerest way. I, I mean this in a sincerest way, dog. And I really want y'all to hear me when I say this. I promise you, I promise you, you can fucking change your life. I promise you. This is the mindset that you gotta have, though. This is the only way that it works. I promise you, it will not be given to you. It will not be given to you, though. Nobody's gonna give you shit. Just think about in your life. Just think about it. Nobody's gonna give you shit. You gotta go take what you want. You gotta go earn what you want. You gotta show up every day for what you want. You gotta convince yourself to condition your life to get everything that you want. I swear, y'all, you can really, really do this. It might it seem hard, but it only takes like six months or to a year of dedication to one thing. To one thing. Listen, to one thing. Six months to a year of dedication to one thing in business. I'm not meaning a job. It's very hard to do this with a job. Now, with the actual business, six months to a year of dedication. I mean, full dedication. At least one year. And I promise you, if you change your diet, meaning that you don't hang around nobody that is not quality, only quality people. You hang around only quality people for one year. Your, your friends going to be mad at you. Your parents going to be mad at you. Your family going to be mad at you. But guess what? Six months to a year of full dedication, only hanging with quality people, only talking to quality people, only dedicating it to one business, OQP, work on your communication, go out there and put yourself out there. Just give me six months to a year. If you dedicate your diet, what you reading, what you watching, who you talking to, six months to a year on God, you can really change your life. I ain't saying you're going to be a millionaire, but what you're going to do is you're going to change your trajectory of your life. The momentum, the people you're going to talk to, the value you're going to get, the uh, peace in your life, the support you're going to get. I swear on my life it will work if you do that. Just six months to a year. That's it. You ain't got to do it for 15 years. But I promise you, if you do six months to a year with that, you're going to look back at your life that you had before, and you're going to say, do I really need to go back to talking to people like that? Do I really need to go back to talking to people who don't have quality? Do I really need to talk to people who really don't deserve my attention? Do I really need to talk to people who doing fuck shit and looking at blogs and, and gossiping and being promiscuous and, and just doing bullshit? Do I really need that? You're going to be like, no. And then you're going to go from six months to a year to two years to three years. And then you're going to look up in three or four years. And you're going to be like, damn, my credit's good. My family's good. My bank account is good. My travel expenses are good. Everything is just good. You're going to be like, damn, do I really need to go back to that life? I don't. Because you're going to change. You're going to change. And guess what, yo? And I, I, I'm sorry to break it to y'all. I'm, I'm sorry to be transparent with y'all and break it to y'all. But if nothing changes, though, nothing's going to change. If nothing changes, nothing changes, bro. And I'm sorry. I know a lot of y'all want to stay the same. And everything change. Just, just think about what y'all really want to do. A lot of y'all want to stay the same. Y'all want to have the same friends. Y'all want to have the same family. Y'all want to talk about the same things. Hang out at the same restaurants. Right? Y'all want to hang at the same restaurants and be with the same people. And talk to the same girls. And, and hang out with the same guys. And, you know, bring everybody up with you. And be the person who saved everybody. And, and then everything stay the same. And then you got a million dollars in your bank account. And your credit score is good and everybody's supporting you and telling you nice things. But we know that's not going to happen. We know our, we know some people that's related to us by blood. They're not always, you know, happy-go-lucky. They don't call us for support. They call us for problems. They call us with negativity. You know that friend that always calls you and everything when it rains and pours? You know that person who when you call the phone before you pick it up, you know they're going to say some bullshit? You got to let it go for six months to a year. And then I promise you all my life, listen to what I say to y'all. I promise you all my life, your life will change. For the better. I ain't saying you're gonna be no millionaire. I ain't gonna say you're gonna have two, three hundred thousand. Your life gonna change for the better. And then you're gonna look up and you're gonna say, damn, Mitch was right. You're gonna say, damn, Mitch, Mitch, you was right. You was right.
and then you're gonna send me a long testimony on my in my DMs. You gonna say you gonna send a long testimony on my DMs, and you gonna say, "Thank you, Mitch." It's gonna be a lot of words. Look, you gonna send a long text message in my DMs, right? And it's gonna be like this long. It's gonna be this long, and then all it's gonna say to me is, "Thank you, Mitch." I ain't even gonna have to read it. I ain't even gonna have to read it. All it's gonna all it's gonna say is, "Thank you, Mitch." That's all I'm gonna say. And then I'm gonna say it like this. Only thing I'm gonna respond to it is, let me tell you this. Only thing I'm gonna respond to it is this. I'm gonna double click it and it's gonna be a heart on it. And that heart means you're welcome. That heart means you're welcome. You do what I mean? Do you hear what I'm saying to y'all though? Y'all gonna send a long message that's gonna say thank you. It's gonna say a whole lot of characters. It's gonna be 150, 200 characters. I'm gonna double click it and that's gonna say you're welcome. And that's all you need to know. Because the reason why I'm doing this show, the reason I don't have to talk to y'all on live right now. I don't have to, y'all. Look, I don't have to. I got me some Starbucks this morning. I found out a new way to have a cup holder and a Lambo. Because look, you got to see, Lambos is not made for no cup holders. Lambo, L Lambos is made for racing. If you got the coupes like this, these made for racing. So they don't got no cup holders. Look, this is my cup holder. You bring a pair of sneakers with you from the gym, and then you use it as a cup holder. Look. Bam. That's a cup holder and a Lambo. I, I just, I don't got to get on live with y'all. I just get, I got on here, I felt the way. I, I just was like real thankful for my life, yo. I came, I just got done playing basketball. I was super tired and fatigued because I've been going like once a week and I need to go long, more. And I've been like, yo, I was sitting there and I was like, yo, had I not did that, made that change to make sure the only people that was hanging around me was quality. Had I not distanced myself from, from women or, or friends or family that was being toxic toward me, I would have never been able to lock in and get these things done to be able to actually be able to have this life that I have. And I'm super fortunate and thankful. And I don't take it for granted. I take advantage of it every day by trying to give impact as much as possible. I just came from Starbucks and every time I go to Starbucks, I pay for two or three people behind me. It just depends on the type of line that the Starbucks has because sometimes they can't get three people behind me. And I'll be just trying to make sure I give impact as much as possible. And then I said, I want to get on live and I want to talk to the people who, 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 who show me love every day who get on my lives every day and I know they're inspired by me every day because I post every day. I, I put stuff on my YouTube every day. I put stuff on my OnlyFans. I put stuff on my Instagram and my TikTok and I'm, I'm constantly pouring value out, little pieces of myself out into the world. So I wanted to make sure that I talk to those people who always show me love and are thankful for me even be able to do these things. I wanna be able to say something nice to y'all and be able to give y'all a message that really changed my life. So that's why I felt it in my soul that I had to get on here and tell y'all this. You dig know what I'm saying? Because y'all can really do it. I see it being done all the time. I remember when before I was on social media, before I met like my brothers Neo and you know him 500, and Mr. Two Weeks Out, all of those guys. Before I met all those guys, I thought I was unique. You know what I'm saying? I thought I was unique. I thought I was like I was like a, a, a young black guy. I was in my early 20s. I was in my late 20s. And I and I was I was getting making my business to be a seven figure business. I was like, damn, I'm I'm seeing a millions of dollars. I started seeing millions of dollars, and then I, I met those guys and I found out that I wasn't unique. I found out that the same characteristics that I had, those guys had, and it was not like a little bit of us. It's a lot of us. I go to a Lamborghini event every year, and it's a whole bunch of black guys who like me, who are who, are, who made multi multi million dollar companies. And, and they was able to do it with the same characteristics as me. And that means that if you guys can embody those characteristics and implement them in your lifestyle, you can change your life is what I'm saying. You can change your life for the better. I'm not saying you're going to be a millionaire because it, it takes work. And some, some people don't want to put that work in. But for those who want to put the work in and they, and they make that simple change that I just said, man, when I tell you, y'all can do whatever the fuck y'all want. Man, when I tell y'all y'all can do whatever the fuck y'all want. Man, when I tell y'all y'all can do whatever the fuck y'all want, man. I swear, bro. I look up, man, and, and 
And I'm just like, yo, I talked to my team earlier this morning, man. I called my assistant earlier. He was just like, you know, I was, he was like, yo, I just sent off all the W9s to the CPA. You know, he was like, yo, I appreciate you, man. He was like, yo, you taught me a lot, this, that, and the third. This is my assistant who was, he used to be my mentee. He pays for my mentorship. Look, let me tell y'all what happened with my, so if y'all don't know who my assistant is, my assistant name is Alton. I call him Anime. But my assistant was, he signed up for my mentorship program and he excelled. He got cars, he got the, he did the Bank of America play. He did the, he did the Navy Fed play to pay for the mentorship and then also bought cars with the Navy Fed play. Then he ran a Bank of America play with him and his girlfriend and they both went and got cars and they went and got them trapped out and executed. He was excelling, he knew all the information, he knew about ads and advertisement. He was excelling. So my brother, so I had to hire him. So he paid to be in my mentorship, right? He paid to be in my mentorship and now I pay him every month. Not only does he work with me, Listen to my words. Not only does he work with me, but he gets to learn as I'm learning from from uh, all of the high level entrepreneurs and, and millionaires and billionaires that I know. He's always around me. He's always in those rooms. And, and please believe that he's gonna go from being my assistant to becoming a multimillionaire. It's a fact. It's a fact. It's a fact. It's a fact. He paid to get in a room. Now he works with me. He paid to get in a room. Now he works with me. And I got a lot of love for that guy. And now he's going to be a multimillionaire. And now he's going to be a multimillionaire. My brother right here, Charles J. Noonan. Y'all make sure y'all follow the dude who I pinned right now on the live. Charles J. Noonan right here. Y'all make sure y'all follow him right here. On Y'all see who, the uh, comment I got pinned? He said, I'm saying it for you. If folks listen to you, they can make one mil. This is one of my top mentees in my 10K mentorship program. He closed out with a little bit over 300000 last year in rental cars. And then um, he already was making lots and lots of money by uh, buying land bank properties. If you don't know about land bank properties, you need to follow him so you can teach you how to get land bank properties. He told me how to get me some land bank properties. Now I got assets. Follow my brother Charles Noonan right here who I pinned to the screen. He can show you how to make millions of dollars by buying vacant land bank properties from the bank. Easy way to do it. You can do it with credit. He'll show you how to liquidate your credit to buy the properties and then own them outright. He's a millionaire. You want to learn how to get to it? He took my mentorship program when it got a Huracan, when it got a, a Maybach, when it got a, a Rolls Royce Ghost. Y'all can say what y'all want to say, but if you in my if you in my circle, you know I got love for you. Even if you paid to be in there, I got love for you. If you uh, one of my followers and you show up every day and comment and repost my stuff. my sound back real quick so the thing about it is opportunities there opportunities there yo but what you gonna do opportunities there so what I want y'all to do like I said I need y'all to make this commitment yo yo Mitch what's happening bro I'm good, man. What's up? What's up, man? Where you at? Bro, I'm in South Africa, man. You in Africa? Yeah, I'm good, man. I'm really motivated by your stuff, man. I'm really appreciative, man. No doubt. Where, where you at? You in Africa? Yeah, yeah, South Africa. South Africa? What part? Um, South Africa, Um, in the province called Pumalanga. You probably don't know it, but yeah. Okay, that's dope, bro. Yo, bro. Hey, you, you, want, you, want to, you want to say something to the people real quick? No, bro. I, I, the only thing that I can say is that, like, they should follow you as much as I do because I really think that you've got a lot of information. And I love the fact that you actually share it with people. You're not holding it to yourself. You're actually sharing it, like, free. I feel like, yeah, man, they've got a lot of le things to learn from you because I'm actually learning from you as well. I appreciate that, bro. Yeah. Hey, man, thanks for popping on and showing me some love, dog.
Keep Thank you, man. Bro. I wish you the best of luck in life, man, for sure, bro. Thanks, man. Already. Why your teeth so white? Because I got veneers. If you want to know my dentist, I can, I can let you know. After they give me an affiliate. Where you got your teeth done? I got them done in Miami, though. Gotta stick my leg out the window, man. Stick my leg out the window, man. My leg, my knees, I'm old. I can't tell y'all my dentist until I get an affiliate. They give me an affiliate, then I tell all y'all, y'all go here and tell them no to push me and Mitch gave it to you. But for everybody who said, why my teeth so white, I got veneers. This after me eating a muffin, too. Look, ooh. Yeah. Hey, yo, Dame Birds. Hey, Dame, get on here and give him some game, bro. Listen, it's Sunday. It's Sunday, bro. And they need to hear that. They need to hear that that real talk for the top of the week. Hey, yo. Big day, man. Listen, bro. Get on here and give them the game, my boy. They need to hear that work before the top of the week. What's going on, man? Listen, you stay on it, man. I'm in Jersey and this ice brush crazy out here. <laughs> I need to get back to where the sun's shining. Nah, for real, bro. It's cold here too, man. It was snowing. The other day I was I was out in my Lambos. I had both Lambos out. My boy Rob Coates came down here, so I showed him a good time. I took him out. Yeah, kind of like how I took you out when you came down. They gotta learn how to show love like that, man. You know what's Absolutely. up? Absolutely. Like, you know, and I just hope that when I come to y'all cities, y'all take me out like that. You know what I'm saying? Show me a little bit of love, man. Oh yeah. You know, that's all it's about though. When y'all come in town, I like to make sure I show y'all a good time, take care of everything. When y'all in my city, that's how we gotta start, you know, hosting each other, you know what I mean? Real talk, real talk. But um, me and my boy Rob Coast was in town. It was starting snowing while I was in a Lambo. I was like, this is just too dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yo. And it actually, like, snowed hard. But I was like, yo, it's crazy. But, um, dang, man, uh, I want you to give him, like, a good message, bro, because I was just on here talking about the things that I had to change for me to literally become successful. And one of the key things that I had to do was that I had to realize that I had to lock in on one thing for six months to a year and yeah. literally be like, I'm not going to be having no distraction. I fixed my diet. I was like, I was watching who I was hanging with, who I was talking to, what I was reading, what I was watching, like everything with my diet had to be aligned. And I focused on one thing and me just doing that from six months to a year. I'm not saying it made me a millionaire or nothing like that, but it changed my mindset. It changed my friend circle. It changed what entertained me. So yeah. now in that six months to a year time frame, I was able to go from, a person who was undisciplined, had no routine, had no financial literacy. Uh, I was able to go with that six months to a year and really change my life and be a person who not only had financial literacy, but was in a circle that can be iron sharpens iron and right. build up from it, build momentum from there. And that's what you're saying is, is real. So one of the things that the military does is, and even with law enforcement, you, you can remember this, we do something called repetitions. So what happens is, when you do something so many times, it replaces your default, right? So if, if, if the military says, or the law enforcement says, you pull your weapon, you put it at the ready position, you shoot, you fire, put it back in the holster. You do that two or 3,000 times. So when you're in a crisis, you don't do what you fear, you do what's by default. So the repetitions of six months to a year means whenever Mitch get into a crisis, he's gonna be a millionaire by default because he trained his mindset to do it from the gate so y'all have to realize whatever you're doing every day is what what's going to be your default it's what you're going to naturally do if you ever get a phone and you want to empty out everything it says restore default settings so when you when you've been doing something for six months to a year whatever you've been doing becomes your norm you want your norm to always be what's going to get you out of crisis a lot of us sit around we complain we whine you know we hang around people that you know keep us further in the hole and then what happens is you start doing this thing without even thinking about it because it's your default setting. So you got to get yourself around people that understand how to make you better. You got to, like you said, your diet is more than just 
what you put in your mouth is what you put in your mind. It's what you put in your heart. It's what you put in your actions. So when you change that diet up, you become wealthy by default. It's what I do without having to be told because it's repetitions. It's muscle memory. You can be rich by muscle memory. Yo, we can't hear you. You got a phone call? I got you. Yo, it's a, it's a, it's basically piggyback off what you were saying. It's a reflex, right? Right. So right. The, the re, a reflex of somebody hitting my arm, I'm a reflex and like actually hit back. Absolutely. If you train your mind to be the reflex is the same thing. It's a routine. It's automatic. So what, what becomes automatic to you is going to be tragic. It's going to be like, it's going to change your life. Right. It'll change your life. Right. Like it, you, you think it's, you think it's something that's light, right? Right. A lot of people think that's a, it's too simple, right? That's, that's the problem with us. It's so simple, we think that it can't be that easy. Mm-hmm. But it really can. It really can. Just the same way where you, most of us, our whole life, we've been broke, bro. Right, right, right. You see how, how good your reflexes are? <laughs> hey, look. Yeah, most, yeah, you most, got so, so what you're saying is we got broke reflexes. We do. <laughs> we, 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 we raised in a broke culture. Yo, our culture, we, <laughs> look, listen, think about our culture. Our culture is built off of of being broke we resourceful we're because we're broke we started beatboxing and beating on desks and and right. break dancing because of lack of having right right, the, right. all the things that we create and stuff like that even hip-hop that's alternative music based off of not having instruments we wasn't able we took a beat that was already made and we took the breakdown out of it with the drums and the snares and made it into the hip-hop yo so it's, it's, out it's of resourcefulness but we have a broke we have a broke reflex Right. So if, right. if we don't change that reflex and we don't hang around people who have wealth, we're going to go back to our reflexes. We have broke reflex. Most of us have been broke our whole life. Some of us got jobs and we broke. Right. And a lot of people ask you, I hear it all the time, it was like, what made you think of that? When you get to this level, you ain't thinking. You're just doing what's by default. Because you've been training for so long. Yo, people are like, yo, Mitch, how you run that play? It's my default. I don't have to think about it because when you're in the game, you know, you play ball. When you're in the game, you don't have time to think about what they taught you in AAU. You're now doing what you've been doing for years, bro. Right. It's reflex. Right. You see the court. You can see the pass. You see the lane. You see if he's on the wing. You know what's happening because you've been doing it for so long. Exactly. And and, and we got to think about, man, like I want you all to really, really think about how you are, how, how we are. I was brought up this way myself. I had I had a literally broke reflex. Right. So when I went, was going to a club, if they say you get get in by free by, if you get there by eleven, you get in free. I was getting there before eleven. Right. I was getting there before eleven. Right. I was trying to hurry up and get there. Oh man, they, it's, we can get in for free, dog. We are gonna go pull some chicks. Oh, a section. That you, you gotta pay for a section to sit down. I ain't paying for that, man. I'm gonna just go and stand up. I just gotta get in there by eleven. I'm gonna stand up. I'm gonna do my thing. Oh man, the oh. women you gotta pay for their drinks, but I don't wanna pay for no drinks. I don't even know these chicks. We got broke reflex. Off the gut, off the muscle. So Broke. it's the same thing when it comes to investing. We think the same way. Oh, we got to put down what? Ah, no, nah, I want to put down the lease and I want to get the most back. All How right. does that make sense? Our, right. our literal, we were brought up with broke reflexes and a broke default, like for what you're saying. So We're now talking. if we don't switch that, then we're going to go back to our default and what will happen to us in the end. Doesn't matter if we got a nine or five. Doesn't matter if we get a high paying job. We got care. broke reflexes. You go, you're going to always go back, yo. You're going to always go back to being broke because the crazy part about it is the saying that, you know, money burning your hole in your pocket. People can have bread, but they're most comfortable at broke. So they burn all the money up because they know how to operate. That's why bologna tastes good. That's why we know to burn it on the edges because we right. know how to operate at broke. You know what I'm saying? Absolutely. So, Absolutely. So we all of us ate ramen noodles. All you of know us what had We know how to sauce them up. That's so because, it. because we don't know how to operate at wealth, it scares us. We don't know what to do with it. So let me, let me spend all the money because I'm comfortable at broke. Man, it's crazy. It's crazy how resourceful we are with our brokenness too. Like right. we literally, we know how much, because I know how, I know, I know all of these things because I had a broke mentality. Bro. So I know how, how much money I could take out of my bank account in uh, overdraft before they going to stop me. Oh, I know that no. I, if I go, I go to the gas station, I can use it credit when I got a dollar in there and I can fill up the like- whole tank. And right out for the week. Look how resourceful I am with my broke mentality. But I can't use that resourcefulness to get rich because I don't have it. 
I don't have it in me yet because I never switched my routine. I never started switching to hanging around people who don't have this mentality. Because look, listen, all of my friends who grew up with me have the same mentality as me. They all got it. My parents even got it. Absolutely. My parents even got it. I'm telling you. And it's, my it's mom problem. taught me the broke mentality. My mom used to tell me, man, son, if you don't slip and fall, if you don't slip and fall the job, yo, yo, was, my mom used to tell me, if you don't slip and fall to jail, man, you're going to get a big check. Yo, I was just around somebody that told one of their relatives, yo, 10 minutes ago, they was like, yo, I just got hit in the back. Person on the other end was like, yo, we rich. That's universal. That's universal, man. It's like none of us grew up together, but we all have the same culture. Like, how crazy is that? Like, I don't know white culture. I don't know white culture. I don't know. I don't know what they do at cookouts. But you can take me to any real black cookout, and I'm gonna fit in because I know culture. It's right. the same with our finances. We all do the same stuff. Yo, and and it's crazy, bro. Like the way we breaking it down is the only way they're gonna be able to realize it. Because some people they'll blame everybody for them not being successful, but themselves. It's not your fault that you're there, but it's your fault if you stay there. Bro. So now. You're exposed to the information. You understand that you are around a broke culture. You have a broke mentality. How can you fix this broke thing? I don't care if you're broke. Broke can be fixed. But right. poor, that's totally different. Being poor is totally different than being that's broke. That's a mentality. That's a mentality. It's a mentality. So now all you got to do now is do what I just told you. It's a simple exercise, y'all. Just commit this, this amount of time. And I promise you, all of y'all going to come in my DM and say a long message. But all I'm going to see when I see this long message is the word thank you. That's it. That's all I'm going to see there. Because I understand it, it was these small principles that had to change. Yep. It had to change for me to really get to where I wanted to go. Real talk. Even, even you coming from law enforcement. Me and you both used to be in law enforcement. Right. So even around that, those, that culture couldn't level me up. No. It couldn't no. level me up being because, in the round old jail. Because the greatest thing was we looked for was overtime because we felt like that was it. Not knowing that the more time you work, the more taxes they took out. Man, it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. Yo, you let me tell you what we used to do. And this was the, this was a common thing we did at the jail. So we can make 100K for the year, right? So right. this is what we would do. We would do the double overtimes. We would do the overtimes. And then we would, t for like six months out of the year, two months out of the year, we would go exempt. We would go exempt so we can make more money. And then we would say, this is what us with no financial financial literacy would say. Oh, it's going to even out. I'm going to let them take well, out max. I'm going to let them take out max at the beginning of the year. And I'm going to go exempt for the end of the year. And it's going to even out. Yep. What? For real. For real. It's called cutting corners. It's so this is what corners. we did. This is what we did. This is a part of a, this is a part of the, the, the rat race to mm. keep you there. It's going to keep you there. So if I understand that simple thing, and I got to hang around people coming back from where I'm trying to go. Talk. Why do we try to ask for, I was just literally sitting at a table, literally last night, at a, uh, I was at a formal uh, uh, a dinner joint. And I'm sitting at the table and I'm listening to two people speak. And, and they're both giving business advice, both sides, but right. beside me. Both of them were get, getting advice from people who've never been in their industry. And they're saying, hey, oh yeah, so-and-so said you'll never be this good because you're not doing it that way. And it was like, yeah, because you got to do it this way, this way, and that way. And that's the only way to be successful. I was like, um, to keep it short and sweet, because I, I think they wanted my input. Right. I said, to keep it short and sweet, I wouldn't take advice about anybody on, from, about anything that they haven't been through already. I don't take advice from somebody not coming back from where I'm trying to go. So let me tell you something. The industry that y'all in, I'm not in. And I said, I don't want to give you any advice. I said, so what I would do is this, keep this one simple principle. Find somebody coming back from where you're trying to go, pay for their time, learn what they know, and then learn from their mistakes and go run the play. Reverse engineer. And and, and I don't want to I don't want to make it rocket science for myself. So a lot Reverse. of people try to do that. If I know that Dame got the one of the biggest black, well, got the biggest black owned real estate company in South Carolina, why am I going to try to go to the smallest one and learn from him? Absolutely. Why am I going to go to the person who has no properties and learn from him? Right. Why am I going to go to a person? who literally doesn't know any of the, the consumer laws, don't even know about uh, escrow accounts, or don't know about uh, buying holes, they don't know about fixing flips, they don't know about wholesaling. Why would I go to that person and say, and ask for advice? Because that's what we do. We right. go to our parents, we go to our friends, hey, you know, I'm thinking about getting into this. And they say, oh, I wouldn't do that, baby. I know a guy from 16 years ago, he tried it one time, and he broke now. Now you, you're discouraged. You to ask a person who has no idea
<laughs> about <laughs> that industry. Matter of fact, you might even ask a person who just started, who got one, who did one event, and you ask them for their advice. What I would do is this: find somebody with a large book of business, and then try to get their mentorship. Pay for their time. We're Everybody talking. doesn't do mentorship, but I tell you, money, money will change your mind about that mentorship thing. Oh, they long. Dang, dang, if you wasn't doing no mentorship, and I say, man, you know what, bro? I see you doing your thing real crazy, man. I got about, I got about five thousand dollars to put towards you teaching me at least a couple of things about what you do. You're gonna make a mentorship program, ain't you? On the spot. You're gonna take time to say, you know what, man? We can get together like once a week. <laughs> For real. We'll figure. We're gonna figure this thing out That's because right. money makes you pay attention. It's, at the end of the day. I, I might not do mentorship, but you just say if you tell me, Mitch, man, I got 10k, man, turn me into you. You know what? I can do my best impression. Right. For real. So, so what y'all gotta know is why we 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 will spend more money not doing that. So y'all say, oh, five thousand dollars, that's too much. How much you gonna spend blowing money on getting uh all your equipment and getting it wrong, getting your uh trying to pay for stuff out of pocket without having credit. So now you're spending all of this money out of pocket when you could have just used your signature. How much money we gonna spend? Instead of just spending five thousand dollars with Dame, I've been to spend twenty thousand dollars and then get, don't got two nickels to rub together. Right, I just spent right. thirty thousand dollars on trying to get this business up, and now I look back. So I even think about when I started a rental car game. I didn't, I didn't miss out on two, three hundred grand on the information I didn't know. If I had a mentor in it, you know what I mean. Even though there was no mentor there, if I had one, you know how much money I would have saved. So we rather. Oh, I ain't gonna pay Dane five thousand. I'm gonna go on YouTube and Google, okay. and I'm gonna try to YouTube and Google my way into a million dollars. Yeah, the cost of inaction. And, and guess what? You can't do. You can't pay for experience. Nah, you can't. You can't. You can't. You can't get that back. So nah. now you gotta find somebody who actually really has the experience. YouTube and Google ain't gonna give you experience. They're nah. gonna give you basic knowledge. That's it. That's it. Because they can't. They can't give you the time they stayed up all night. They can't give you the time they got no. They can't give you none of that. And and let me tell y'all something. One is not plural. Like when Mitch said, you got to do it for six months to a year. I tell my staff, I tell my team, people that I mentor, you can't do something one time and expect lifetime results. One is not plural. You got to keep doing it every single day. That's why it's called muscle memory because after a while, you're doing it from you're doing it from reaction. Like when it when you're in a crisis, you ain't got time to think. It's time to act. Like this little Jones going around. I got to think of a way to get this money. That's the first problem. You don't know the way to get the money. All right. <laughs> you got to you got to have reaction for crisis. And we got thought for crisis. Thoughts is for when you when you're not in the crisis. If you if you trying to think in a crisis, you already behind the eight ball. Exactly. That's that's crazy. That's what they call fight or flight, right? Right, you know, right. Our industry. Fight Yo, or flight. We about it's to pull out. We about to pull I mean, out. A lot it's a lot of talking, right, Dane? For uh, real. before before we can we can all look at like a, a video of somebody uh getting shot, you know, on, on video and saying I would have did this, I would have did that, I would have did this. The cop ain't have to do that. The dude shouldn't have did this. But in that situation, they went to their muscle memory. Right. And it's either fight or flight. I'm going, I'm going to either react to the situation like this or like that based off of my 